So this is a standard Mercedes V-Class um, 220 Sport long wheelbase adapted by Lewis Reed and the only real thing that you can notice that's different between this and a normal car is the lift carriage cassette underneath but a very stylish looking wheelchair accessible vehicle. So the Mercedes comes with lots of standard cool features which help everyday people but for people with disabilities and carers it's got some really cool features. So for example from the key fob remote you can automatically open the boot which makes it really easy if your carer is carrying a load of stuff for you. In my boot you'll see I'd always carry an emergency set of ramps and a breakdown bag and my tie downs for when I want to be a passenger and not a driver. You can also close the boot by touching two buttons on the back and it automatically closes. What's also really cool about this car is if you park and you haven't got a lot of room, you can open the top part of the boot and load some stuff in, which is also useful if you're stacking the boot up quite high. So just like the boot, using the key fob, you can open the power doors and you can use the car to program which side you want to open when you use the key fob. So the door slides open. As already mentioned, this is the long wheelbase version. And you'll see the first thing is that the middle row of seats are removed, but there's still ample seating in the back for three people. And I've had three decent sized blokes in the back, so it's not too cramped. Quite a lot of space inside, cup holders, and a massive sunroof to let light in. You can close the blind across that if you want. And then you'll see the front seat, passenger seat, which is adjustable and movable into the driver's seat. And then you'll see there's a gap for my wheelchair to slot into. And on the floor, you've got the permalock system. On the right, you've got the space drive joystick steering control with the park reverse neutral and drive selection an extra mirror for my blind spot, standard steering wheel, and then you've got the accelerator there, and you've got the Paravan control panel, which tells you how the adaptions are all working. The lift for this vehicle is stowed underneath, which does mean speed bumps can be a bit traumatic. It comes with a remote, and as you can see, the lift deploys it doesn't do it rapidly, so I'm never going to be a getaway driver from a bank job or anything like that. So a series of buttons, so the lift comes out, and then another button will drop it to the floor, and the safety flap goes down, and then I can drive onto this. Me and my wheelchair weigh about 270 kilos, and this lift is sturdy enough for that. So you'll see it goes up. I'm quite short, so there's enough head clearance for me. And not actually going to see me dock into the car because that requires a bit of assistance and would be really difficult to film with just one other person. But as you can see, there's plenty of room for me to do a 360 turn inside the vehicle. And then the ramp just goes down and stows back under the vehicle, ready for the journey ahead. My wheelchair has these two pins welded underneath onto the chassis of the chair and then they lock into the permalock system on the floor of the vehicle which means that my wheelchair is automatically tied down for my driving. Left pin, right pin 
and you can't undo this connection whilst you're driving. Right Ross, let's go for a ride in your car and you can explain to everybody how it works. Okay, cool, fair enough. Are we ready? Yeah. So, the lever in my right hand does the steering from left to right and my left hand is the brake and accelerator uh, so the gas for American brake for away and then here is park reverse neutral and drive and you have to have your hand on the brake to operate that at the same time and then the green button on top of my joystick here is the ejector seat for Christy when she gets mouthy. <laughs> Shut um, up. Actually, it's not though. It's uh, it's to control the uh, auxiliary controls of my car. So, for example, if I want to put the windscreen wipers on, I think I hold it five times, but I never really have to do that because it's got auto windscreen. So, uh, so yeah. But okay, to indicate, for example, which I have to do a lot, two buttons and it indicates left, and then and it indicates right. So this car is a Mercedes V-Class uh, people carrier, although a lot of my friends like to call it a van. But it's definitely a people carrier. It's a van. <laughs> and um, it's built in with a lot of good features that are standard on a Mercedes. So for example, it's got an automatic handbrake. So as soon as I take it out of drive in a second, the handbrake will automatically go off. We've got the full screen sat nav, and parking detector. Uh, the car has got cruise control, which also works with my hand controls. The only thing that doesn't work with my hand controls is the auto park, which is uh, a bit of a shame. Anyway, let's uh, go for a little bit of a spin, actually, before we do that. So we've got the Paravan system here, which controls it. So Space Drive is a system controlling the car. Um, when you start the car, um, you have to go through a little sequence and wait for it to say it's okay. Um, yeah, and as you can see, the adaptations are quite nicely blended into the car. Uh, steering developments in Hemel Hempstead do a really slick job. This is the best adapted car I've had so far in terms of it not looking proper special. So um, yeah, let's go for a quick drive. your reversing skills but you pretty much don't need it because it has everything on it. So we've got the 360 camera so not knock over my neighbours pots which my other neighbours who've moved out did. Turning circle is pretty good for a big car. Although I don't think we'll get round in a one here. As much as I like to trust the camera, I'm not going to. So we'll probably stop now and start the camera again in a bit more time. Look at the mirror, there's a massive lorry. Indicators on. Give it some beans.
headrest in the middle, so it does not a lot of good to be honest anyway. If there's three people in the back of a headrest, it's no good in this vehicle. Use the side mirrors. So yeah, it's quite a bouncy road this.